Alrighty, welcome y'all to the first actual dinner bee devlog. I had done one of these previously, but that was devlog zero. I'll link that above. And that was pretty much just a progress update from uh, the entire inception of the project. That was like one to two months worth of work. But this is the first actual progress update since that one. And I gotta be honest with y'all, I have not made a ton of progress. In the past week or so, I've really only knocked out one tiny little feature, which is the ability to uh, see an individual recipe and see the directions and ingredients that go with that recipe that was just a tiny little feature so definitely wasn't worth making a whole video about but there's one thing in particular that i'm trying to knock out for this devlog see one of the main features of dinner b is the calendar and scheduling aspect so essentially a user will be able to have a calendar that is associated with a specific meal so maybe it's their dinner calendar and they're able to assign meals to a specific day so they can track what meals are they going to make that week uh, and kind of just plan everything out better honestly i've been putting off this feature for quite some time uh, just because i've never really done anything with scheduling especially uh, from a front-end perspective and there's definitely a few options that i have in terms of ui libraries that i'm interested in using so this devlog is really not necessarily about implementing it, but kind of figuring out exactly which library that I want to use. So I'll be testing out a couple different things. It's currently late, uh, so I don't really think I'm going to work for too long tonight. I do work a regular 9 to 5 as a software engineer. There are nights when I have a little bit of extra energy after my girlfriend has gone to bed, and I can do a little bit of work. So this is a good time to figure out what I will be doing for this calendar. So yeah, let's get started. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is the feature that I'm trying to build. Um, and I am not good at Figma, so I honestly just copy-paste a picture of something that looked like what I wanted to do. But essentially, yeah, this is what it'll be. It'll be like a nice month-long or week-long calendar, probably month-long. And if you click on a day, we'll get a modal that pops up. You'll be able to search for your recipe, and then you'll be able to schedule that recipe for that specific day. And then if, yeah, if you were to click into it once a, a recipe has already been scheduled, then you'll see... Uh, this modal that pops up and you can go view the recipe and then you can see how to prepare it. And the two main libraries that I'm trying to decide between when it comes to calendars are Material UI and this NPM package called uh, React Calendar. So I use Material for all of my components and styling and theming uh, inside of my applications is just something that I'm really comfortable with, something that I use at work, and then something that I'm you know, comfortable using in my own projects as well. So ideally, I would just use Material UI, um, but you know this package also has a lot of support. It's got almost half a million weekly downloads um, and tons of community support as well. And it also has like a lot of hooks kind of just built out of the box, like click functions for you know every thing that you can click on this calendar um, and just a lot of things just built right into it which is nice the main factor that i'm trying to figure out when deciding between these two is which one is going to be easier to style like i said i'm really comfortable with material if it's easier to style the look and feel of the days themselves like this is really small you know i want the actual days to just be like these these boxes um, that have enough space for me to put a card inside of them and so that's really what I'm trying to figure out, which is going to be easier to do uh, either this package or material. So stay tuned. So I've been fiddling around with the material UI calendar for the past hour or so, and I've gotten nowhere with it. Uh, it's pretty frustrating, actually. Uh, there's a lot of like layered components that you kind of have to nest and make custom components and then throw them into the actual calendar itself. And it doesn't really seem, I mean, it's well documented in the sense that it's material UI and they're all kind of documented the same. So like that part is nice, but there is, I think it's a rather new component within material. So um, there's just not a lot of people asking questions about it on uh, Stack Overflow and stuff like that. The React Calendar NPM package though has a ton of questions about it and has really good examples uh, all 
over the internet about how to style it and make it custom. So I think we're going to go with React Calendar for this. It's getting pretty late here, though, so I think I'm going to call it for tonight. The last hour or so has been very frustrating. So um, I wish I had started with React Calendar first. That probably would have made my decision a whole lot easier. But yeah, I'm going to be kind to myself and go to bed at a reasonable hour because I have to work tomorrow. Maybe I will see you tomorrow morning when I will continue this work for this devlog. Already, I lied. It is not the next morning. It's, in fact, like a week later. Uh, but you know, it's been a, a busy week at work and a busy week outside of work too, so not kicking myself. Uh, gonna get back on this now, which I'm really excited. The work week is over, so I finally got some time to hop back into this and, and build the most important feature. Like I said, I think I've been putting it off for a little bit just because, I don't know, it's a component that I've never really worked with before, and it's probably gonna give me the most trouble out of anything uh, on my UI, so... Yeah, honestly, I've been putting it off for a little bit, but it's Friday night. I've got no plans. I just want to work on this tonight. So yeah, I'm just going to work on my goal is to get the component um, looking how I want and also having the ability to, to click on it and you know, run functions off of those clicks. If I can get that done, I'll be pretty happy with it. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I've got when it's all set. Alrighty, so this is where I started off, just basically importing the... Um, react calendar package and this was without any styling or anything like that and what you can do in react calendar which is kind of nice is you can uh, take their css file and then tweak it a bunch so that is what i've been doing for the past hour or so uh, just tweaking all of the css properties that i could find uh, trying to style the days themselves um, this row that has all the days the calendar component itself and so let's throw that CSS back on there and yeah we're chilling that looks pretty good and it looks pretty close to my Figma as well if you remember this is what my uh, Figma looked like of course it's just a screenshot but I wanted to get as close as possible to this and I'll clean things up a little bit more but um, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've made so far on this uh, I got to clean up some colors and things like that um, but obviously next I do want to uh, create the on click function so whenever I click one of these days I want to check if it has a recipe on it already and if it doesn't I want to pop up a modal which will look something like this and we'll be able to search for our recipes so gonna keep messing with this for a while and I will be back so unfortunately as I was starting to build the uh, click features for the calendar so like if you clicked on a day then you'd be able to get that modal where you'd be able to search for a recipe uh, I realized that I'm missing two endpoints that I need to actually create this and the way that I normally like to work is I'll build out the entire backend first and then I'll take all the endpoints and everything that I created and build my UI uh, after the fact. And for the most part, that works out really well. Uh, but unfortunately, in this case, I did miss a couple of endpoints. So yeah, the first endpoint is the search function, which is going to search for a recipe um, by name. It's going to be really just a really simple search endpoint. And the response object on that is just going to be a, a recipe ID and a recipe name. Uh, that's I'm displaying on the UI is just a recipe name and then I'll need the recipe ID to link it to a meal and then the other endpoint that I need which I don't know how I forgot this one because it's kind of like the most integral one for this entire page uh, but I need to be able to get all of the meals for a calendar so I have no get endpoint on on my meal resource for right now uh, for some reason but yeah so that was just a, a complete oversight but with that endpoint I'll be able to get uh, all the meals and then display those cards on the days of the calendar that correspond to you know wherever meal you're going to be making on that day so I was kind of hoping I'd be able to finish this entire uh, calendar feature in this devlog but unfortunately I got to go back to the drawing board a little bit make those endpoints they won't be too hard um, and, and too complicated to create but I don't want to drag this one on for too long and I really just kind of want to put the devlog away and get to work on this so I can finish this up as quickly as possible. So yeah, that will wrap up this devlog. This is devlog one of I don't really know how many, honestly. Hopefully it's like less than 10 by the time we're in a, a beta or uh, actual release for this. But I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch my process as I am building DinnerV uh, and all the little things that go into building a SaaS application. So if you find this type of content useful and interesting, definitely subscribe. Uh, I'll be documenting the entire process of building DinnerV from scratch. So I really, really appreciate you watching this video through all the way to the end. And I look forward to showing you all the progress that I've made in the next devlog. Have a good one.